in 2016, we started thinking about buses and we saw that Holden was, was reaching its conclusion and that there was significant installed capacity and capability in South Australia. So we saw an opportunity to, to run towards that capability and create a business and take the situation previous to us supplying where the South Australian government was buying its buses from interstate to not only manufacturing all of the buses here for South Australia, but now exporting two times that interstate. It's not about recycling government money, it's about using money that the government was already going to spend on a recurring basis and then turning that into a much bigger business. So we started with an organisation of about 30 staff. We have developed and grown rapidly, especially in the last 12 months. We now have 98 staff on board. We have gone from building a bus, effectively first bus took us three months, to now building a bus every two days. So we've grown in all facets of the business through engineering, purchasing, all the support services through to our employees on the floor. We pride ourselves as Australian based and our supply chain being Australia based. We are 95% local Australian supply chain. Not relying on imported products has meant that we've been able to maintain consistency of product through the COVID period. When you see one of our buses on the road, you know that you're supporting Australian manufacturing and Australian jobs. So the jobs here have been amplified and the, the opportunities for the South Australian suppliers have been amplified and they're now benefiting from that um, in, in a much greater way. And look, part of the, the reason of creating Brabham Automotive and building a supercar locally was to say that, well, look what you can do um, with the engineering capability and the supply chain capability that, that exists here in South Australia. Yeah, I think people have perception that manufacturing is not very big in SA. We're here to prove that manufacturing is alive and, and, and it's going well. Yeah, look, advice for companies wanting to tender for and secure South Australian government work is to really have a look at the local industry participation plan requirements. What the policy does is demand from businesses, how are you going to demonstrate the economic benefit to our state and our jurisdiction? Here in SA, we were really pleased to see when the tenders were released that the local content was a big part of the assessment criteria. So by including that, it activates our businesses like ours to go out and seek out local, local suppliers, create an apprenticeship program, invest in capital works here in the facility, and then seek out export contracts where we can amplify that economic benefit. I think post-COVID, the importance of sovereign capability has really come out into the light. We're happy that that's happening. It's obviously not in the, in the greatest circumstances, but the government should be doubling down on backing businesses that are focusing on that aspect, for sure.